gun violence is not something that we will tolerate. A powerful image, shoes, one for each victim of the mass shootings in El Paso, Texas and Dayton, Ohio. New Yorkers joining the rest of the country in grieving the lives cut short and those forever changed. But the emotional trauma rips through the anatomy of our community and the anatomy of our country. Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams at a Grand Army Plaza vigil as the country is trying to heal and stories of survival are emerging. And he shot eight more bullets. I counted them because I said one of these is going to be mine. In Dayton, businesses reopened Monday, including the bar targeted by the gunmen. A gun show scheduled in the city for this weekend has been canceled. In El Paso, a funeral home has announced they will provide free funeral services for the families of those that lost a loved one. The White House announcing President Trump will be visiting both El Paso and Dayton on Wednesday. The president has wanted to go there since he learned of these tragedies and he and we he's able to move around this country as Secret Service says that it's safe and ready. The president planning on visiting with victims, families, survivors and law enforcement and reviewing recovery efforts. This as more details are emerging about El Paso shooting suspect Patrick Crucius. Officials saying the 21 year old alleged shooter has shown no regrets or remorse for his crimes, describing him as emotionally cold. El Paso police saying Crucius picked the shopping plaza at random. He's being charged with capital murder, the shooting being called an act of terrorism. The suspect in the Dayton shooting, Connor Betts, was fatally shot by police at the scene. We can't be numb to violence. As the investigations continue, people are banding together in Brooklyn and around the world. I looked at the empty shoes, each one that represents a light that was snuffed out just like these candles. Providing a light for each other in the dark. Emily Druby, Currents News.